Friends in Jesus Christ, today the church celebrates the feast of Saint Lawrence. So he was burnt alive, <coughs> burnt alive. So it was the, by the Roman Emperor Valerian. He was he asked his soldiers to burn burn Lawrence alive. So one side, as he was burnt, he asked them to burn the other side of him as well. You know. So how he was burnt, like, uh, so how uh, the people, people like barbecue, like barbecue or in other cases, uh, they keep a steak and then they burn the food, you know, burn the animal or the flesh of the animal. And then once it is burnt from one side, once it is burnt one side, so they will turn to the other side as well. So similarly, like that, Lawrence was burnt burnt alive in the time of persecutions when the church was facing under the <coughs> Roman Emperor Valerian. Valerian. So, as I heard, you know, St. Lawrence, about St. Lawrence, he was a deacon and a martyr, martyr. So, how was his life? How he was asked to be burnt? Because in the time of the church, you know, so he was having, there is a church, and this emperor who came to the church, he looked at the windows and then he saw the gold and so on. So he asked Lawrence to sell those things and then give the money to him. But what Lawrence did was, he sold everything, that pews uh, of the church and then uh, whatever, that gold or something like that, you know, he sold everything. But he gave it to the poor. He spent it for the poor people. But when, 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 when the emperor came and asked for the money, when emperor entered into the church, he was happy looking at that. Okay, he has done what I said, he has sold everything. And then he began to ask. He asked, uh, where is the money? Where is the money that you got uh, by selling those, those church properties? And he said, I have given to the poor. I have spent it for the poor. So there, emperor ordered, he, him to be burnt alive, burnt alive. So, dear friends, uh, connecting the life of uh, Lawrence in Lawrence, the deacon and martyr, uh, today's gospel is uh, well said, well said. Unless a wheat, a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it cannot bear much fruit. If it die, if it falls to the ground, unless it dies, so it just remains a wheat. So unless it dies, if it dies and fall, buries into the ground and then you, it will begin to grow and it will multiply hundreds, hundreds of hundreds, thousands of thousands and so on. It will keep on going. It, 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 it keeps on going. So in our lives, you know, when you see, when you speak about Christ, so if you are loving your life, you, you are losing your life in the kingdom of God. But if you are losing your life, you are hating your life in this world, so you are gaining your life, you are saving your life for the eternal world, eternal life that Christ is going to offer you and me. So therefore, dear friends, let us make sure that we are longing for Christ, we are thirsting for Christ. So we are ready to sacrifice any amount of things in order to possess Christ, possess eternal life that Christ will offer to us. Thank you.